Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to a, another What I'm Liking and Not So Much on Wednesday. And I do have a special guest. I have Bella from the uh, Beauty on a Budget. So if you guys would like to stick around and uh, see what my likes and my not likes are, keep on watching. So today I have Bella from Beauty on a Budget joining me. And Bella is from England, and I just, I love watching her. One of the things that really got me enjoying watching her is you can tell she's such a down-to-earth person. She is that person that you could see yourself sitting down, just having a chat with, and you know, maybe having a lunch or dinner together or whatever it may be. And I love, I love her laugh. She has this laugh that gets me every time when she's telling you something of a story, something funny that happened to her or just anything like that. It's another one of them ones that kind of brings me into a little nice relaxing moment where if you just have maybe a stressful day or anything like that, you know, it's like you can just forget about it and watch her and listen to her. And she does a little of everything, mostly beauty stuff. And it, her channel is the reason for beauty on a budget because a lot of her products are budget friendly. She's such a beautiful woman. She really is. Bella is such a beautiful woman. I love the English accent as it is. My husband's actually from England and it's one of them accents that, you know, I just, I really enjoy. But I will put a link down below to Bella's video. Please go check her out. Maybe subscribe if you like and give her some thumbs up and show her some love and support. You guys are not going to be disappointed. All right, let's get into my products here. So the first one should come as no surprise, I did do a video on these two items and it's for hair. I will put a link down below just in case you did not see the video and you can go and check it out and hear my thoughts and my whole review. But it is the Finesse Restore and Strengthen Shampoo and Conditioner. So I will put a link down below to these if you want to hear more information. I am really, really loving these products and they are a great find and buy. We're going to go ahead and fall into some skincare items and one item, a couple of these items, I think maybe, maybe all these items will be in an upcoming haul. I have an upcoming haul for you guys and these are going to end up being in it, but I had to share them because I actually dug into them and started using them and I'm really liking them. So I thought, you know, I'm going to share them here. This one here is the St. Ives Exfoliate and Nourish coconut oil scrub smart it says smoft smoft it almost sounds like i'm trying to say smurf what in the world lori uh coconut oil scrub soft smooth and radiant skin it has 100 percent. it's made with 100 percent natural exfoliants and here it is right here this is a really really nice item it you actually put it on when your skin is dry first because it is an oil-based product with the beads in there and you just massage it all in and everything and once you go ahead and do that you then can take your fingers and get them a little bit damp and wet and then massage in just a little bit more and it turns into a little bit of a kind of a creamy substance just mild mildly not anything uh major like a lot of suds on your face or anything and then you just rinse it off with luke lukewarm water and i'm telling you i really really like this so this was sent to me i believe you pronounce it sonoron s-o-n-o-r-a-n sonoron skincare and they have several different items i think it's mostly targeted to hair care but there is stuff in there for your skin. I like to nourish your skin and everything, like your body. This here is called the Avocado Hazelnut Hydrating Hair and Skin Conditioner. So you can use it for either your hair 
or you can use it for your skin. I can tell you for the body itself, it is really nice body lotion. Oh my goodness, it smells. Oh, I'm not even sure how to explain the scent, but it's a very nice, uh, a sweet scent. I think that's what I'm looking for, a sweet scent. It says apply product twice daily or more often if needed, or you can use it as a deep conditioner. You apply the product on damp hair from root to tip, let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes, then you rinse out through, uh, throughly. You rinse out throughly, which I still have to try that out. I will do a review because I did share this in my haul, and I am going to do a review on the brand itself um, because it is one of them smaller sort of companies out there, uh, and how the woman became with her company, like how she founded everything and, you know, came up with everything. And I think that's something good I want to point out to everybody. So, but I'm going to share already now because on, she sent me a really pretty card too, but I'm going to share with you guys that you can get 20% off on anything on the site here. She said that if I felt that they were worth, you know, mentioning or anything, that I can, uh, and I, I get nothing. I got the products for free, but I don't get anything uh, for this at all, for the discount or any commission or, or anything. It's and it's not a, uh, what's the other thing? It's not a um, sponsored video or anything like that. Uh, this is just for you guys to get a 20% discount and you use, and I will put the promo code down below. So if you guys uh, miss it or, or interested, but it says winter 2017. So, and it looks like it's in all capitals for winter. So winter 2017, you can get 20% off. I will have the link below. So if you guys are interested, this was a fail for me. And this should be no surprise because I just had my video up recently for this item here. And I ended up buying two because one's for my husband, one's for me. And it is the Mascology uh, Collagen Hydrogel Gold Mask. And I know you guys probably seen the video at this point, or if you haven't, I will put a link down below. But you already know it was an epic, epic fail and disappointment. I wasn't liking this so much. And I do have several other masks in Walmart. Maybe I might get one other one, try one of the other ones. Maybe it was just this one because uh, I do realize that sometimes happens with brands. But from that same company, Maskology, I found these in Walmart. And I was sharing this, which will be in an upcoming um, haul video. This is the Aquaful Easy and Quick Pouch Hydrating Pack. What it is, is it's an ultra hydrating sleeping overnight pack. It's recommended to two to three times a week. So you can do this two, twice or three times a week. And it's right after you cleanse your face, you remove makeup and get rid of all that kind of stuff. And in, in the evening, after you, your nightly skincare regimen, you apply a thin layer evenly over the face, neck, and around the eyes. And then you let it work overnight. And then you rinse off any excess in the morning. So in the morning, obviously, I wash my face in the morning, so I do give them a thumbs up for this one because this is a good product and I will be buying some more. This will last you probably about, I'm going to say two weeks worth maybe. You might get more out of it, possibly. So that's pretty good for $2.50. $2 so yes, now that's good. All right, I'm going to go there, guys, because I do really like these and it is the Equate Flushable flushable wipes. <laughs> I know it seems, you know, like you're probably like, really, Lori? But you know what? <laughs> you know, when you go, to, I don't know, this is just me. Like, you know, it just, it, you, you feel clean and more refreshed after using these than just regular toilet paper. Just saying, that's for me. I do, I really like these and I thought, you know what? I'm going to mention them because I have been really liking them. I have used other ones before and then it was like, I quit buying them for a bit there for a while and then I was like you know what I so I bought some and then it reminded me of like okay this 
yeah, just, yeah. So there you go. Flushable wipes. <laughs> yes, I went there. Perfume. Oh my goodness. I love the Prada Candy Floral. 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 So the Prada Candy Floral. Floral. Oh my goodness. Floral. Yeah, one of those moments. It must have been them flushable wipes that got my mind all in a. <laughs> so. Floral. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh at my own self for, for making that mistake. Okay, so Prana Candy Floral. Oh my goodness, I love this stuff. I don't know if I've ever smelled the Prada Candy, the original itself, and I think they have a couple other ones, but the floral one is my favorite. I just love this scent, and I would probably, dare I say, get a full bottle. You know me, my perfumes as it is anyway, but yes, love it. So I would I would say if you haven't smelled it, go to your counter, department counter, wherever, and sniff that. Sniff that baby. Okay, I'm getting in a weird, I'm getting in a weird mood here. Some people asking me what was on. I think it was on the video when I reviewed the finesse products and, and I look and several people were complimenting it and they really liked it and it was an oldie but a goodie for me that I pulled out and it was a Mally product and it is her eye lift shadow kit in taupe there's a lighter taupe and a darker taupe and this is my little trusty tried and true uh, eyeshadow set that I like for days that I'm just wanting to be simple and basic, but it still makes my eyes pop, and it is kind of an eye lift. It does make your eyes look pretty open. Foundation that I'm actually wearing today, I put it back out, and it is from Dr. Dines. It is her Med MD Concealer Foundation, and it has a sunscreen uh, broad spectrum SPF of 35. And now mine comes in this little container as such, like this. My shade's in light, by the way. But she does not do this container anymore. And it's one of the ones where you open this up, and then you open up the little door, and then you push down here, and the product comes out from here. And I really love this foundation. The only thing, she put it in a tube now, like where you can squeeze it out, because uh, there was some problems with this packaging that the product wasn't coming out correctly or in a, it, it, some of them were broken. And so she just decided to put it in a squeeze tube. But oh my goodness, this gives a nice healthy look for coverage. But this is a really good foundation and I would highly recommend saying try it out because if you're somebody that does like, you do want a coverage, uh, but you know, the skincare benefits are important to you and SPF and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this would be for you. If you like the It Cosmetics or any of those kind of brands, I would say try Dr. Dinesse's, um, the Med MD, and it's a concealer and foundation all in one. So highlighter, got to use this baby the last couple times. And oh my goodness, I don't know if you're going to see though on here. It is a nice, gorgeous highlighter and for five dollars i think these are precious petals is that what it is precious petals is gorgeous it is beautiful look at that design even just alone for the design on there i mean oh my goodness there it is right there look how that is gorgeous i mean i can't get over that it's supposed to be wet and wild but there it is and it works great on my skin tone five dollars that is a really good highlighter and lastly you can't really see my lip color on here but i think it's the way my lighting is right now i have natural lighting i have my light up above there and then i have my little ring light you guys can let me know if the lighting does look okay to you guys like you know am i too washed out does it look perfect you know fine just let me know because uh, I play around and I do try to record more during the daytime. Sometimes I have to record at night. Just, you know, it is what it is and it's not as bright. 
uh, that's when definitely the ring light comes in handy. But I do have this lip color on, but you can't see it too well. But it is a really pretty, um, like purpley pink, I guess. I'm pulling all them colors out now because we're into spring. So I'm like, you know, pulling some colors that, you know, look very springy. <laughs> springy. And this is from the Burt's Bees collection. I want to get more. There's like a red shade, I think. I wouldn't mind getting it looks really gorgeous and these are very moisturizing uh, for a lip product and I really like them so this is 515 tulip tulip tide it kind of has the um, lilac purple pink shade of some sort now you have to do a couple swipes to get the color but there it is right there it is more uh, glossy and sheer looking, so you do have to do a couple swipes over to get a little bit more opaque color to the lips if that's what you're looking for. Now this one is a matte shade and it's from the uh, Katie Cat matte shade colors from, from CoverGirl. And this is the Kitty Purry. I love this shade. This is probably one of my favorite shades from the collection. And this is another one that has like some mauvey purple tone to it. Now the, this is obviously matte and it is a little more bolder in color than the other one. So if you're looking more for a sheer color, something a little more sheer and soft and whatever, then I would get the Tulip Tide from Burt's Bees. But if you want more of a bam in your face then yeah get the one right there from the uh katie cat matte collection all right beauties thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate that if you did come from bella's channel thank you so much and welcome and i hope you guys stick around and join me each week or don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the bell button that's right next to it because then that way you'll be notified uh when my videos are up each week an email uh, notification that will let you know when my new videos are up. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would make me so happy. And as I mentioned about Bella, don't forget her video will be linked down below for you guys to go and check her out. And as always, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.